So guys, I am back with yet another Black Myth Wukong video and in this video guide I showcase to you how you can unlock the secret chapter 2 vendor who sells some pretty amazing things. This one you definitely do not want to miss. How's it going guys? My name is DPJ. Now I am giving a copy away of Black Myth Wukong. So if you'd like to win one for yourself or a friend, it's as simple as this. Drop a like on this video, leave a comment down below and make sure you are subbed. I'll pick one winner from the comment section of one of my Black Myth videos and announce the winner at the end of the week on Sunday evening's video. So good luck everybody. Okay, so I apologise in advance, my recording messed up a little, so I missed out a certain point in this quest, which is nothing major, I won't lie, it's nothing I can't simply explain to you. Okay, so this starts from the chapter 2 area of Fright Cliff and the Shrine of Rock Rest Flat. So from this point guys, you want to head into the cave behind you and follow the path I take on screen now. So you will eventually come to this blue glowing rock type thing. This guy is actually an enemy, he's called the Mother of Stone. And once you attack this thing, it doesn't fight you back, but it spawns in lows of enemies that do attack you. It can be a little wild to do, uh, but you'll see on screen now exactly how I beat this enemy. So what I did was I used my decoy just before coming to this boss uh, then I summon my duplicates to help with the other enemies that spawned in and then guys I just went all out in just attacking this rock that doesn't hit back Now upon you defeating this rock, this stone, you are rewarded the stone essence. This is a key item to what we need here. Now what I will say is upon me defeating the mother of stone, I had a poised stone still here attacking me. Now once I took it out, I did notice its health was a little bit major, but once I took it out guys, I got the poised stone spirit. So do this if you haven't already. Okay, so from this point guys, head back to that shrine of rock rest flat. And from this point, follow the path I take on screen now to where you encounter this vendor. Now this is where my footage messed up, but it's basically this what happens. So once you come here and talk to this rock man thingy, he asks you to grab the item we just got from the mother of stone, that stone essence. Now upon you giving him this item, he then tries to play you off like a fool. Here guys you now have to attack him, once you attack him this starts an encounter with him in which you have to defeat him. Now upon you defeating him, you can now recover that stone essence, uh, which when you do, you are rewarded the Azure Dust spell. This allows you to transform into a rock. Uh, you are immune to all four banes and it builds up might when you are hit. Pretty cool. 
Now, upon you talking to him from this point, he mentions treasures or something along those lines, but you need to give him time. So from this point, guys, go to any shrine, go rest at any shrine. The closest one of the rock rest flat shrine makes more sense. So go here and rest. Upon you doing this, head back to him. Now once you come back to him guys, he's now a vendor selling some pretty good items. So what he sells is as the following. He sells the blood of the iron bull. These cost 3,200 will. He sells an item called the gold ridge beast uh, for 12,000 will. This is going to be used to trade for something elsewhere. He sells the iron pellet which seems pretty badass. Using this gourd can no longer be interrupted by incoming attacks and now provides considerable damage reduction. This does cost 6,480 will though. He also sells the epic gold flora hairpin. This slightly increases will gain from defeating enemies. This does cost however 12,800 will. And finally guys he sells the sovereign stone which you could have used for the ball quest line uh, but you can get one of these for naf or so don't waste your money here unless uh, this is needed as the one you already had has been used but there we have it guys the secret amazing vendor who sells some pretty incredible items the problem i have now is i'll have to farm all the world required to buy all these items before i leave this area that's just how i do things in these types of games i can't miss out on anything i don't want to go into a different chapter come back and he's gone so i'm going to farm the world come back to this guy and buy every single item he has but there we have it guys guys if you enjoyed the video leaving a like really helps out if you like what you see and want to see more of black myth wukong be sure to subscribe and hopefully guys i will see you on that next one